Howdy everyone, Daryl Holland with Holland's Long Range Shooting Schools, and I think it's about time we talk a little bit about bullets for the long range shooting hunting game. We've been teaching long range shooting for over a decade, we've killed hundreds of animals around the world, and we'd like to share some interesting insights helping you make the wisest selection for your next big game hunt, especially if there's an opportunity at shooting at long range. Let's start off now by talking a little bit about the Nosler Partition. Folks at Nosler make great bullets. The partition's been around for almost as many years as I am old and works pretty well as a hunting bullet. It doesn't have a real high BC. It has an exposed lead tip and therefore we kind of classify it as a mid-range bullet. Big game animals, 350, 400 yards. The Nosler partition works very well. It's available in a variety of calibers and bullet weights to suit most everyone's needs. Beware though that the BC is not very high and depending upon the recoil of your rifle, you may deform the lead exposed tip further deflating the BC. So kind of limit your shots to around 400 yards. The Nosler partition would work really well. Next on the chopping block is Burger Bullets. Walt Berger has been a friend for 25 or 30 years. He and his wife Eunice, who's passed away, were great competitive shooters in the bench rest circle. And now they've gotten off into making custom bullets for the long range hunting game. We've killed quite a few animals with the Burgers with reasonable results. The problem that we see with a burger bullet is that very seldom, if ever, does it completely exit the animal. And in having killed lots of animals with a the burger, there's very seldom, if ever, a blood trail. So if you lose sight of the animal, it may be kind of hard to find them. As far as accuracy and high BC bullets go, burger's probably the top of the game. They've got exceptional BCs, great wind bucking abilities, but again, very seldom do they exit the animal leaving a blood trail to follow. In the autopsy, internal damage is usually very good, which is what kills the animal, but we don't really care what killed him if we can't find him. Okay, so we kind of use a lot of those for practice bullets, shooting at paper and steel, uh, when we may lose sight of the animal in thick cover. Next, we have the Nosler Acubond, which is kind of a blending of partition performance with ballistic tip, ballistic coefficients, a much higher ballistic coefficient than the Nosler partition. They seem to penetrate real well. Most importantly, they do leave a very good blood trail with both the entrance and the exit wound, which is very, very important. Keep in mind that their BC numbers are not as high as they suggest. We recommend using our ballistic software to determine the actual BC of the bullet in your particular rifle and environmental conditions under which you may be shooting. The long range bullets are available in 6.5, 7, and 30. They're kind of in hard, uh, hard supply right now, but do a little bit of shopping. We get them from time to time and may be able to service your needs. Sierra bullets. I've probably shot 100,000 or more Sierra bullets in my lifetime with very good results. Sierra makes the Game King as well as the Match King. I realize that the folks at Sierra say, well, we probably don't want you shooting big game animals with the Match King, but in my 308s, 30 odd sixes, and even the 300s, the 168 grain Match King has performed very well on deer, elk, antelope, caribou. Uh, it's been a decent bullet with good internal damage and good blood trail. So Sierra gets a good nod there. Their Game King is also a good bullet. It has an exposed lead tip. The BC isn't as high. So beware of those things if you're going to choose the Sierra Game King for a hunting bullet. One of the big advantages to Sierra is they make a tremendous volume of bullets. So therefore, bullet prices are pretty affordable. I shoot Sierras pretty much exclusively in my target practice work at the school in 308s, 708s, and 6mm XCs. By the way, speaking of 6mm bullets, the 107 Sierra Match King kills extremely well on whitetail deer, mule deer, and antelope. Lapua, Lapua makes a great target bullet as well as a hunting bullet. We primarily use the Lapuas for target work. They've got excellent BCs and are a very uniform, consistent bullet when we run them across our bullet comparator. They also make a line of hunting bullets. 
but in European hunting, long range is probably frowned upon compared to what we see here in the United States. And most of the European hunting bullets have relatively low BCs in the high twos, mid to high threes, which as you know, doesn't buck the wind very well and doesn't retain velocity and energy down range. Barnes, another great bullet. We kind of consider the Barnes bullet another mid-range bullet as well. Performance as well, penetration is excellent. They're an all-copper bullet, so if you live in states where lead is not a uh, friendly thing to take in the field, by all means, give the Barnes bullets a try. They perform very well. BCs are going to run in the mid-range, as I said, in the threes and fours, so again, keeping your shots in that 400, maybe 450 yards, depending upon uh, the caliber and the velocity that you start out with, pretty good rule of thumb for the Barnes bullets. Here's an example of some Barnes bullets and the type of performance that they offer. Being an all copper bullet, they penetrate very well and they also mushroom very well, as you can see by the petals of the bullet folding back, creating a larger wound channel, and if the bullet exits the animal, a huge hole from which hydraulic fluid leaks, allowing you to track him even under the toughest conditions. So the Barnes bullet's a very good game bullet, but as we mentioned earlier, due to the lower BCs, we kind of look at them as a mid-range bullet, 400, 450 yards with the BC numbers they have, very effective combination for what you do. Barnes does make an excellent selection in bullet weights in the different calibers. So depending upon the cartridge you're shooting, you have a wide variety to pick and choose from. I think that due to the copper construction, it's best to maybe shoot a little bit lighter Barnes bullet than you normally would in a lead cord bullet to get a little more velocity because we have the added penetration. Another bullet that I like and I've shot for a lot of years is the Nosler Ballistic Tip. A little more violent in its expansion than the Acubond. It's not a blending of a partition and a ballistic tip. It was their original polymer tipped bullet. Has very good BC numbers, very user friendly in the loading department uh, for the most part. And I've killed a lot of animals with a ballistic tip. I've killed caribou, I've killed elk, I've killed bears and all of the African Plains game many times over with the Nosler ballistic tip. Pretty affordable bullet. Again, you don't have to spend $2 a bullet to get the job done. A new bullet company that uh, has just come out are Cutting Edge Bullets, and they, like the Barnes Bullets, are a turned bullet out of a copper bronze uh, composite, if you will. Good designs, good BC numbers, and they're a bore rider bullet. So they have a driving band on them that minimizes the pressure spikes that we normally see in a solid uh, copper, beryllium copper type bullet. Uh, accuracy seems to be pretty good and initial testing on game animals shows that the cutting edge bullet may indeed be the best of both worlds in terms of great penetration, good ballistic coefficient and exceptional accuracy. So we'll keep you tuned on those. Uh, the most important thing is pick and choose the best bullet for your shooting application. We've given you a rough overview of a lot of the major bullet companies that are out there enabling you to make an intelligent choice for your next hunt. We by no means covered all of the bullets in the industry. Swift Scirocco is an excellent bullet. The bullets at Woodley are also good big game bullets. But we've tried to cover long range bullets and their applications based upon our experience as well as our students from hunting around the world in a variety of big game animals. The most important thing is understand big game anatomy, where the heart and lung cavity is, stock within your comfort zone, make an excellent shot. If you're not comfortable with the shot, pass. There's not a problem with passing on a shot that you're not comfortable with. We don't want a wounded animal on our conscience. I'm Daryl Holland for Holland's Long Range Shooting Schools. Thank you.